Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. Thank you guys so much for your patience, for your kind words. I know it has been a very, very long time since I have posted a video and there's good reasons for that, um, but I don't want to get completely into a long story because today's topic is what do you need to hear and I'm going to be focusing on short and direct to the point messages from spirit. What do you need to hear in regards to your current situation, any advice or messages or predictions that may come up. Uh, but yes, again, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate all of you and I hope that you all have been doing well and being peaceful and balanced or working towards that. Um, so these options here are tuning forks. You can go by the color, your intuition, or the sound, which I will play for you. I got these off of Etsy. I recommend almost any shop on Etsy because uh, they had so many beautiful options. So I'm going to sound each of them. If you're wearing headphones, you may want to do this cautiously. I, I will try not to go too close to the mic, um, but I won't blast it. So just be careful if you are wearing headphones to adjust the volume if you have sensitive hearing. Okay, so again, we're doing what do you need to hear, and we have the four groups. They're going to be listed in the description. Please remember this is a general reading, and it may not resonate 100%. If you'd like a personal reading, the info is in the description. I think the slot should, there should still be some open for May, but I will update that as I go along. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the groups now. This is group number one, the blue tuning fork. This is for the throat chakra, as you can see it's labeled there on the bottom. Now I'm going to play it for you, okay? You can't really hear it unless I put it directly to the mic, which, by the way, my microphone is on this thing. That's why I always have this next to me, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sound it for you. Okay. That is group number one. I don't know. I can't hear it, so I hope that I'm not hurting your eardrums. I tested it out a few times. That's group number one. This is group number two, the root chakra. This is group number three, the solar plexus chakra tuning fork. And the last option is option four, group four. This is the heart chakra tuning fork. Okay, so again, just to name the groups again, we have here group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. Uh, if that sound test just failed, please just go with the color or whatever your intuition is calling you towards, okay? And whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey everyone, this is reading for those of you that chose group number one, which is the blue tuning fork or the throat chakra tuning fork. 
I do hope that um, I played that properly. It's I, I couldn't hear it, so forgive me if that sounded harsh or something. Uh, so we're going to take a look at what you need to hear from Spirit right now, some sort of important slash urgent messages. Spirit, this reading is for group number one, please. And the energies for them, especially what they need to hear right now. Please provide us with clear, guided messages for group one. <coughs> Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, should I get your present? Let's do a quick sh uh, shuffle for your present energy. Spirit, can you please provide us the present energy for group number one, our throat chakra group? What are the present energies, please, for group number one, our throat chakra group? Thank you. So you have the page of wands here. I'm going to leave it just there for one moment, and you also have the eight of wands. Okay, so it looks like there is a ton of movement coming towards you or you're already in that flow. With the Page of Wands, I do sense a little bit of a mix of energy. I feel that for most of you, there is a, a lot of passion, determination, motivation, and all kinds of sort of enthusiastic, excited energy. Some of you, I do feel a little bit of a hesitation. I'm kind of getting this image of a person with one foot going forward on the path and then bringing it back again, but you are on the path and you are about to take the first step. So that's still really exciting. And then this over here is talking about some sort of movement, some sort of um, passionate flow forward, as I was saying. Now, Spirit, what do they need to hear relevant to their path, their situation, or whatever's going on for them? Uh, for group one, please, can you tell us, Spirit, what do they most need to hear right now? Interesting. Okay, so this does fit with what I just said, and I am noticing the shuffle. I'm, I'm noticing that you guys are only getting one card at a time, which is, for me, a little bit unusual. I usually get many, many more cards. So you got the Eight of Swords, okay? The Eight of Swords is talking about the energy of that hesitation, at least for what I see here. You can see the blindfold, feeling tied up, feeling restricted, captive, uncertain, okay? So for many of you, that could be what you need to hear is that probably the negative thoughts or feelings of uncertainty, doubts, especially self-doubts, is what is preventing you from taking that confident step forward. And I would feel that even though I can't quite see the future of whatever you're doing, I feel that because of the passion behind it, that this will ultimately be successful. Even if, let's say, you take a couple of detours and you don't end up exactly where you were aiming to go, that's actually okay. If you are a type of person to go with the flow, to let go and surrender and trust within the divine, trust within the universe, then that won't be a blockage for you. However, sometimes that's not the case, right? It's difficult to adopt that mentality. So if you take off this blindfold, if you have trust, if you have trust that wherever you end up will be exactly where you are meant to be, then you will find that success. So that is the biggest message that spirit has for you. To put it a little bit more simply, you know, stop doubting yourself and, um, kind of getting in your own way. And I and I do feel like I have said that many times to you guys, no matter what group you have picked, perhaps. Um, the thing is, group one, you guys have a very, very strong intuition. And I feel like I, I tell you that too a lot. I just have that feeling, um, especially because of the blue here. Like there's something about this blue color. It, it just makes me feel probably because of the water element. It makes me think of the cups, suit king and queen of cups and stuff like that even though you're coming up as wands. Uh, so you have a very strong intuition and the water down here can vouch for that. It is just the simple fact that you're not actually maybe uh, tapping into it, tuning into the intuition. And the blindfold and these ropes or bindings here is representing perhaps a fear of using the intuition. A, I don't know if it's a fear or some sort of a hesitation or again, like that, that word is big for you guys is, is doubt. That's a, a strong message coming through here. So if this is a chronic problem for you guys, I know fully that this is not something that can be solved in obviously just one reading with one piece of advice. But just to have that understanding and to take those steps will be enough for now. You know, it'll, it'll get the ball rolling. So all of this passion, 
is going to go somewhere very positive. And again, spirit is asking you to please step out of your own way or kind of just maybe give yourself that nudge or allow your spirit guides to give yourself that nudge. Um, I have a piece of advice personally um, that I've been using. It's it's kind of funny, I guess, because it's, it's weird. So my piece of advice that I use for myself and I gave this advice to a friend, I said, I said um, do it quietly. I think I said this in one other video. What I mean by that is try not to announce certain things to your conscious mind by saying, I'm going to get up tomorrow morning and I'm going to do this and do that and it's going to be this way. That's you thinking about it on the conscious layer and you're kind of announcing it to yourself. Now, if you have this natural type of anxiety or whatever this is for you personally, that might actually become a burden or pressuring. That's just my experience. So in order to prevent that pressure, you may want to just sort of do it quietly and not announce it. Don't even think about it. Don't even make a plan for some of you. This may not work for all of you. Um, and then just just do it quietly. Just like feel yourself, um, whatever you have to do, feel yourself starting that first task and, you know, taking that first tiny step to get the thing done. Personally, when I do something like this, it actually does work, strangely enough. Um, but again, that, that may not work for everybody. Uh, but Another thing that could work is using the post-it notes as affirmations where you can see it in front of you. But my point is all of that, my point is that to remove the pressure, to remove the, um, to remove the pressure of thinking about it too much. Uh, yes, the overthinking or the responsibility, the burden, the obligation, all of that stuff. Um, and you know, that's the funny part is I think that sometimes even when we don't have that external sense of pressure, there, we can still feel trapped. We can still feel unable to take that step forward in many ways. So um, another message that Spirit has for you guys is to tap into this Page of Wands energy, okay? So the page of any page is a uh, archetype of a child. And the wands is a, a very passionate child, very playful, passionate, present. So they want you to tap into your inner fire, okay? So before we talked about intuition, and intuition is your inner water element, but now they're asking you to tap into that fire so that it can feel like a game. It can feel like a sense of play. And if you remember, you know, playing games at any point in your life, you can feel that sense that we're not really thinking about the future too much. We're not even really hesitating. We just want to play. We just want to have that sense of joy and connectedness. So that is what Spirit is advising you to do right now. I would like to know what you guys are working on because I feel like there's so many different options. I feel a burst of like variety of different achievements hitting, just hitting me right now. Uh, so let's take a look at what happens when you do follow that path of passion. Spirit, can we know anything else for group number one? What do they need to hear most right now? Our throat chakra group. <clears throat> what do they need to hear most, please? Group one, please. Thank you. Yeah, so here we have the judgment card. This is a very highly spiritual card. It's almost as if you're being called to rise up in some way to meet yourself, almost to meet your higher self, to meet your guides and angels halfway, in a sense, with the judgment card here. And actually what I see here, you're one of your angels or guides or someone on your spirit team may even be telling you that they've already given you the go-ahead or synchronicities. That's going to look different for everyone. Some of you may, it, it may have been repeating numbers. Some of you, it may have been just something strange that you saw that didn't quite belong. And you're like, okay, that was really weird. What, what was that about? That may have happened very recently, maybe in the last couple of days or even today. You see, like they, they're, they've been giving you a sign over and over again. So that is another thing that they are wanting you to hear right now is, is just the simple fact that they've been giving you these signs. They've been confirming, they've been pushing, validating that you're, you know, you're not crazy. <laughs> like, you know, these things are real. Like, and I say that because most people who have experienced signs, like we kind of get some negative feedback depending on who's in front of us. Uh, but no mind, no mind to that. So anyway, yeah, this is the time they are giving you the green light to do this, maybe the color green, I don't know, that just came out, maybe the color green means something to you. 
But um, yes, you can take that one step forward. And I think that their message, even though I don't see the future cards, their message is that it's safe. You are safe to take this next step, whatever this happens to be. Can we know anything about their future? Uh, anything moving forward about whatever it is that they're working on? <clears throat> or, or moving towards, I should say. So this specifically has to do with removing yourself from this energy of the five of cups and the five of cups is not only about sadness or regret it's actually a card huge on release so maybe you have to release something release yourself from something again especially something internal that was holding you back spirit moving forward moving forward can we have the energies for group number one our throat chakra group especially relevant to their path now whoopsie almost fell off the table Okay, now this is really, really amazing to me. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. This is a card that has to do with painful endings, right? Or painful situations coming to an end, whichever one, right? It was burdensome. You can see the swords in the back. I almost feel the heaviness and the sort of like an ancient energy. It's, it's very old. Maybe you've been carrying this for... Uh, your whole lifetime or many years even past lifetimes whichever but I feel like this is such a connection to the five of cups you see the black energy here the dark energy here okay so it has to do with ending this cycle and you have here the eight of cups so you can see that you're going to move forward so you're literally walking on a path in this card you're allowing the little light that you have in the sky to guide you so you can't really see where you're going right you don't really know for sure if this is right for you but what is guiding you is what i said before it's your intuition okay so as long as you follow your intuition you will not become lost and we can see that is true with these cards you have the sun and the two of wands okay more passion there with the wands and this time you're looking out into the future anything is possible you're holding the world in your hands and this card is really to me probably one of the most beautiful cards that you can get in the entire deck see the the innocence the the joy the connection the freedom uh being so present with this uh joy and passion there's also creation in the background um, purity in this card, everything. There's, it's just such a pause, overwhelmingly positive card. So this is where you're headed. Again, I feel it's important for me to say that some of you may still take a detour or two. And again, that is part of the process. Please follow the intuition very closely, whether you have to go left or right or up or down, like really follow the gut level intuition. Because I will remind you that the moment that you're overthinking, this is going to block you up again and quite instantly. Okay, so be be uh, conscious of this. And probably you can even remind yourself of this on a daily basis if you feel like this is something that you tend to do. If you remind yourself of this and you stay aware, you're going to be ahead of it, you know. So it will not be that boulder in front of you um, on the path. It's something that you'll be able to navigate or prevent entirely. Whew, so, <laughs> okay, and you also have two eights over here. I do feel it's a message there. I'm not really sure if they're trying to talk about uh, maybe it could be for, I mean, it could be different things. I, I feel like it's probably talking about August, but um, it depends on when you're going to be watching this. So it could also be talking about eight days, eight weeks, but, you know, whatever resonates for you guys. So let's get um, let's get one more. <clears throat> Spirit, can you please give us for group number one, what do they need to hear right now? What is most important for them to hear on their journey right now? Okay, wow. You have another eight over here. So eight, eight, eight is showing through. Uh, this is showing again. The Eight of Wands, remember this is talking about movement. Some of you, yes, there will be travel involved. That may not resonate for everybody, but you have at least three cards that I typically uh, see travel in. Okay, so if not travel, this also could be talking about receiving very positive news that you will have to wait a little bit for. Uh, it's kind of like the moment that you finally release that anxious feeling is when you're going to be receiving either this positive news or positive movement, okay? And then over here, okay, we have another, where was it? 
Oh, it was at the bottom of the deck. We have another 10 here. This is now the 10 of cups. So we went from the 10 of swords to the 10 of cups. Look at all the happiness, the rainbow, the clear sky, the celebration, the harmony, and the love here. It's, it's all positive. This is like a happy outcome card. Basically, I feel like it's similar to the sun. Very similar in vibration. Okay, the joy and, and everything here. So again, you can kind of see that this is the glimpse of what will come through for you. And then we have this lovely Queen of Swords energy here to show you again that the sky is clear. And look at the difference. You see? The difference with the clarity of mind, the difference with the freedom, with the level of confidence, or at least just a bit more certainty within yourself and the path. Bravo, <laughs> Group 1. So... I feel like um, I did want it to be just short and sweet, direct to the point. So group one, I feel like this is probably all that spirit wants to say, even though I, I kind of feel a nudge to get one more thing just for me, not from spirit. Um, let's just do that. So can we just have one more message, please, for group number one? Just one. Aha. Look at that. Very beautiful. Ace of Cups. So this could be a hint of a couple of different things, depending but this is an a, any ace is a new beginning. I see this as a lot of healing, a lot of spirituality flowing through you, healing of the heart space. This also could, of course, be talking about uh, maybe any kind of new love coming into your life, whether it's friendship, a soulmate or soul tribe, any of these things, but especially self-love is coming through. And spirit is going to be offering this to you very soon. If it's not right away, in like a couple of days for some of you it may take a little longer but just be patient because it will be worth it okay so thank you guys so much for tuning in i really wish you the very very best um, again this is a general reading if you ever want the personal reading the link is in the description thank you and i will see you next time take care of yourselves bye bye Mm-hmm. <clears throat>everyone and uh welcome to group number two the root chakras reading let's get right into it spirit this reading is for group number two our root chakra group and the energies for them especially what do they need to hear right now uh, relevant to their path or their situation please provide us with clear guided messages for group two okay so let's uh get a peek of your present energy first spirit can we have the present energy please for our root chakra group, group two. Present energy. For group two. Okay. Okay, this is really, really interesting. We have the page of wands and the ace of cups that came out immediately together. Okay. Um, and then... We have two swords. We have the seven and the five of swords. It is a little unusual for me to see the seven of swords come out with the first spread, the first round of shuffle. Okay, so up here, it looks like a very positive energy. This is quite similar to what group one got, but you guys... It, it, it clearly to me is going to be a very different reading, but they actually got the Page of Wands as their first card and the Ace of Cups as their last card. So I think that um, if you guys, uh, sometimes people tell me that they show these readings to their friends or family. Uh, if you know anyone that shows the blue, the group number one, there could be some linked messages for you guys. This is really weird that you got the first and last that they got. Okay. 
Anyway, so with these cards down here, Seven and Five of Swords, this is certainly some kind of either conflict or illusion. Some of you, it could even be stuff that's a bit more extreme, such as deception. If that's not the case, uh, the Seven of Swords sometimes can mean taking slow steps, like a strategic exit towards something. So let's get one more card as a tiebreaker. Spirit, can we have just one more to see the present energies for group number two, please? Just one. Okay, you have the Nine of Cups. So either way, I feel like this is um, a really good direction that you are heading in. I am kind of feeling that for you guys, there is going to be a significant shift and a even for some of you abrupt end because I'm seeing the world here and the other bottom deck energy was actually the death card which is ending rebirth the world is the last major arcana card so the red here I'm seeing is very powerful I felt it immediately not from the cards but just from the presence of you guys' tuning fork um very very powerful tones here I felt very earthy I mean yes it's connected to the earth chakra but for you guys i felt a strong persona a strong presence within you uh very much reminding me of the queen of pentacles so you guys are kind of like a you know like a like a boss energy kind of <laughs> like I, I don't mean that literally with what well, i mean it could be but uh what i mean by that is uh you're the type of people to be extremely practical and logical and go from step one two three four like to to be able to put these things into practice i do feel that there is a sense of uh healthy self-confidence or just again that that sense of logic and practicality uh there's always there's always a another side to that where you know of course if things aren't balanced it can it can kind of get in your way of what you want to do but uh, for now i feel a strong presence from you so connecting that with the cards here i am seeing that with this nine of cups that i i feel that with the strength of your compassion in your heart i feel that no matter what what is it kind of feels like nonsense it kind of feels like there's some nonsense going on in your life and you didn't really even tell me directly but it, it showed itself here because I, I think what i'm feeling from you from you guys in group two i i think i'm feeling some some frustrated emoji face you know where they're kind of doing the face palm or the eyes rolling up and they're just like oh boy like what am i have what do i have to deal with here i do feel like there's some conflict within your environment it could be with a close person uh to you whether it's a coworker, family member or friend or or maybe um a relationship right but it feels like to you guys this may feel like nonsense you're just like what is you know, why do I have to deal with this? Um, and you just don't want to deal with it because this is not essentially your problem. Um, maybe for some of you it, it could be, but I really feel like this is just something in your outer world that is just, you're not having it. Uh, my point of the Nine of Cups, it feels like that no matter what nonsense is going on, that you are going to still step towards your happiness and you're not going to let anything get in your way. And And this is not even just self-serving this is you trying to do your best for yourself and everyone around you you're, you're very again you're very compassionate the the strength of your heart i feel like is your biggest um like that's the strongest energy about you is the strength of your heart uh and what else did i see spirit can you now give us uh, what do they need to hear for group number two what do they need to hear most in their journey right now their path <coughs> Okay, so Spirit is giving you a message that's a little bit more for just you and your softer side. Please forgive me if I'm wrong here, but I feel a lot of physical tension coming from a lot of you. Uh, like, I feel that many of you need some kind of a, a shoulder massage. Like, there's a lot of tension and, like, it's it's crushing. It's crushing. So this, to me, means that... I mean, of course, it could be literal that your bodies have a lot of physical tension, probably from the work that you do or caring for people or just holding in a lot of stress because there may be a lot of the times an imbalance of an outlet. You know, it's like you take everything in, 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 but where does it leave? Which is why we see the nine of swords. 
okay? So the Nine of Swords is, uh, you know, it's interesting because I feel like this is not a face or an energy that you typically show the outer world at all. But probably most of you feel this quite often. <sighs> yeah, it, it's, it's rough. It's rough. So when I said to you your softer side, I kind of was meaning a little bit more of your spiritual side, maybe your inner child side, or mm, just the part of you that gets to come out when you relax a little bit more when there's not all of these burdens and stressors and environmental stuff in your way. So we have here the the star and the nine of swords. Okay, so the star spirit's message is to focus a little bit more on your wishes and desires. I find it just I find it interesting and a little not confusing, but it, it is curious to me that I got so much of your energy, but not from these cards at all. That that's weird to me. Like weird in terms of the way I was getting the message is what I mean. Um, that's never really happened before. It's almost as if your 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 face in it's not showing through here. Like I I don't see the Queen of Pentacles. I don't see anything that that card is dealing with, and yet I felt all of it. So maybe that's the message too: is that everything is hitting you in a different way. It's kind of like um, it could even be kind of like uh, compartmentalizing this stress. You know, like again with this here, you're you're hiding it away, or this may not be intentional. It may just be that you're feeling it somewhere subconscious or physical or it's just um, something that's accumulating. It, it's a lot. It, again, it's a lot of pressure on you. So what you need to hear most is to focus more on your wishes, desires, and happiness. And again, this seems clear because of how big your heart is and because of how much work you put into things and how much you work, period. You know, like that doesn't mean only... Uh, jobs it could mean anything it could mean stuff for family it could mean your yes it could mean your careers your studies whatever you're going through there's just a lot going on here <clears throat> okay so yeah um I, and i feel that the reason why spirit had such a strong message about your happiness fulfillment your wishes was because some of you may have may be neglecting that you may be neglecting yourselves and I'm getting a lot from this Nine of Swords. It's, oh my goodness, it's like, um, whew, this is definitely your inner vulnerable side coming through. And I feel that you have every right to step into that energy if you want to just whew, take a break, you know, release. Um, not take a break in a sense of just taking a nap or going on a, like having one day off. I'm talking about a real break from all of the pressure and the heaviness and the obligations, you know, taking a real break for yourselves. Obviously, that's not always easy to do, but um, I feel that perhaps some of you are taking steps to plan this, even if it's something that it's like a, a strategic thing I said before, remember? Um, it even could just be some visions that you are developing for the future or just to free up your mind a little bit. So a spiritual rest is needed here, a, a um, replenishment. I'm even having trouble speaking. I feel like I, it, it's similar to when there's pressure on the chest and you, you can't quite get the words out. So some of you may even be having some issues there in this, in this area. Okay, um, Spirit, what else do they need to know? What else do they need to hear now most? I'm having neck problems now? Okay. Uh, in terms of the physical... Um, you know, everything is connected, mind, body, spirit, of course. But for, for you guys in particular, the physical, I, I feel, may be affected the most right now. So if you can, you know, do something physically relaxing for your nervous system, for your muscles, for your physical body in any way that you can, please do that. Uh, spirit, any other messages for group number two? What do they need to hear most right now, please? Group number two, our root chakra group. You know, it's okay to not be the strongest person in the room, group number two. It, it, that's, that's okay. I know that a lot of people probably rely on you in 
many different areas of your life. But it's it's okay. You what spirit is saying is that you don't always have to be that person to hold up everything. And maybe some of you are doing this because it's just your role that you feel you've assumed. Maybe it's out of habit. Maybe it's because you don't know how to be any different way. I, I'm really not sure. It could just simply be fear. But with these two cards together, again, I feel like this is an inner part of you that is showing through. Maybe you're not comfortable with it. Maybe you don't show it to yourself even. But it is there. And it's a valid part of you. And just please know that this does not mean weakness at all and i think we established that from the very first spread and the first messages that you are incredibly incredibly strong oh goodness i feel all of the, the heaviness here uh let's see what else you got you have the the queen of wands and the high priestess so i feel like this is definitely a lighter message completely lighter so this this may be the you that comes out when you get to play. In fact, I feel like it is because the Page of Wands was the first card. You have the Ace of Cups to kind of show that things are opening up. And whenever I see the Ace of Cups, I think of healing in the heart center. So I do see that even though we kind of went in a circle here, I feel that the first two cards were talking about the healing of your heart or literally chest pains. But what is going to be required of you and another important message from Spirit is that you have to actually release a huge amount of that burden. Otherwise, there won't be a lot of space or it, it just the way that the energy will work. It, it won't quite happen unless you take that first step to release. Okay, so again, I do feel like this is the passionate, playful, creative side of you that never really gets to come out and play. Um, and this is the psychic part of you. So on top of everything, you guys are highly psychic as well. I think that you've had many psychic or creative, uh, or not just only creative in the traditional sense, any kind of like good ideas. There was a lot of ambitions that were building from you that you had visions for from the very beginning. Childhood is really important, I feel, for you guys. I, I think that what I'm seeing here is like flashing back and forth. Um, where I do think that early on in life, you had visions for so many things. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not even really commenting on what happened with those visions. It's more of just the vision itself. I feel like all of these visions are still within you. Whether or not you completed them or not, it's sort of not a spirit's point of bringing this up. They're, they're just saying that you have these visions within you still and here remember with the star card this is the vision this is the ambition the wishes the desires the fulfillment okay i feel like there's a cup for every different either person or group of people in your life or in your visions that you wanted to share again with the big heart it's like one of those cups was for you i hope but then every other cup was for someone else Okay, um, and the balance is, is needed is, is basically what they're saying. So again, spirit wants you to spend more time with this part of yourself, almost as a gift to yourself, because they're basically saying that you've earned it, or at this point, it's almost like they're saying it's owed to you because of everything that you've given others. I don't really like to use phrases like that, but I feel like that's what Spirit is saying. Uh, can we have any final messages for group number two? What do they need to hear right now, please? <clears throat> we have the Seven of Wands, which is basically showing the fighter within you, the resilient fighter within you that has always been climbing that mountain which can be a great thing, but again, it can, without balance, it can be extremely exhausting, and you, I don't really have to tell you that. It's like that burnout. Anything else? Any final messages? What do they need to hear right now? Please, Spirit, for group number two. Okay, so, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, that, that's funny. That's funny, because this was my final shuffle, and here goes the Queen of Pentacles, which I referenced in the very beginning. I think that that's really cute because uh, the way that the cards came through is you were hiding and hiding and hiding or 
I don't think it was on purpose. I just think that maybe it's symbolic of the fact that you guys put yourself last a lot of the times. But look at what's beneath that. This is really nice. You have the lovers beneath that. So again, the love coming from you. It's um, it's like you're doing the work of the higher level beings such as angels. Like they're just trying to give compassion towards others. Um, so that's really interesting that that came through. Your final messages. We have the three of pentacles. And we also have the Page of Swords and the Fool. The Fool. So, the Fool is really encouraging because the Fool is talking about a completely new beginning for you guys. I feel like you're never alone in these visions that you have. I feel like there's a huge involvement regarding working with other people, community, collaborations, the collective, something like that. Uh, and, and you are going to be successful in this work, if not already. I feel like there's a lot of uh, community or, um, you know, just groups of people or family components to whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and then here with the, the Page of Swords, it's kind of just like similar to the Page of Wands. Just clear the mind, uh, think like this energy, you know, tap into the more, tap, tap into this other part of you that we were talking about f before with the fulfillment, the creative passions, um, just feeling lighter. I also feel like another message here is talking about cutting some of the swords energy that we saw earlier, you know, like cutting yourself free. F yeah, I should have said that. Freeing yourself from some of these burdens, if possible. If it's not possible in a physical, environmental sense, then definitely with the mentality first to cut free some of those self-limiting thoughts or burdensome thoughts and what i see here you can see that the fool he is carrying almost nothing he is free of burdens okay i always think of the ten of wands when i think of burdens uh but but here he's he's not carrying anything just exactly what he needs in the tiny little knapsack or whatever that is and he is trusting you can see his body language he's trusting of the divine, of himself, of the universe, of everything with this bright new beginning on the horizon. Now I will note that I can't see what's happening in the future, right? So basically it's kind of saying, I, I don't know what's going to happen with this path. I do sense that because of your hard work and your intuition and the bright ideas that are always coming out of you, that of course you will reach that success. But since probably since probably some of you haven't quite taken that step just yet because you may not have given yourself that permission, we are not seeing the cards for that future. Maybe that would be in a different reading, but I can sense already that whatever you take that one step towards that, yes, it will be met with positive energy. I, I would be really shocked if it, if it didn't, okay? So group number two, I hope that I was clear in what I was saying because I kind of just really... I, I felt, you know, many different energies, many different arrows in so many directions, kind of like the forest, all these different paths. Uh, but that's what I have for you, group number two. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really wish you the very best. Uh, remember, this is a general reading, may not resonate 100%. The info for personal readings is always in the description. Um, thank you guys again. And I'm sending you love and I will see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>guys this is the reading for those of you that chose group number three which is the yellow tuning fork the solar plexus so let's shuffle get into your energy spirit this reading is for group number three please and the energies for them especially what they need to hear right now please provide us with clear guided messages for group number three okay 
Let me see if I feel called to get your present energy or the first message. Spirit, can we please have, uh, let's, let's try the present energy. Spirit, what are the present energies for group number three, our solar plexus group? Present energies for group three, please. Wow, eight of cups right away. You guys are not playing around. There is something that you're moving away towards uh, and you're thinking of doing it very soon. I don't typically read reverse cards, but I do like to note if they come out pretty obviously upside down. It, it was kind of tilted. So there could be a little bit of hesitation from some of you, but I, I do still feel that this is going to happen very soon, walking away from something, um, or at least beginning to finally think about that option. Oh my goodness. Yes, we're confirmed here. You have the Fool card right next to it. So, whew. So this wasn't even really your present energy. I mean, I guess it was, but this is really showing the first message here. Okay, so I let's get into it. Let's get into the message. So what, what you need to hear right now is that this is happening. This is happening as we speak. The energy is kind of already stirring within you, and I'm noticing the sun card at the bottom. So these changes that will be happening in the very near future is leading towards this bright new beginning, this happiness, okay? And I don't think that it's the same exact message that perhaps you've gotten in maybe my previous readings or, or whatever the case is. This is something new. I feel like this is a, a new bright idea or new way of doing things, uh, just a completely new chapter or adventure or something like that. Okay, we're going to get more energies here, but this is a very encouraging start. Spirit, can we have more now? What do they need to hear? Group three, please, or solar plexus group. Uh, what do they need to hear right now? Thank you. <clears throat> wow and this is cool every group has gotten so far the ace of cups i feel like it's a very healing time that we're in so true to the solar plexus energy you got the empress okay and this is number three so that's a really nice sort of uh, message there because this is the third chakra at least I think so yes <laughs> sometimes I get confused so yes um, this is you actually in the solar plexus energy which is power or willpower empowerment and I uh, also with the empress I think of things like authenticity or abundance creation it also could be um here talking about i mean this is for only some of you but it is talking about something like fertility or feminine power or something like that but uh yes lots of abundance here and again willpower or uh feeling very much in that confidence uh and then here with the ace of cups everything that you're doing is with love or because of a loving energy within you so i did not sense that whatever you're doing is for, for example, like a negative reason, even though ultimately you're moving away, some of you, from something that could be negative in a sense that it doesn't serve you. But I feel that you're moving towards this new chapter out of love for yourself or love for your path or really whoever or whichever. But there is a, a strong presence of the heart here in whatever it is that you're doing, as if that's the fuel, as if that's the fuel that you're using to move forward here on this journey all right so what but what do they need to hear then what do they need to know or what do they need to hear spirit group three what is important for them to know right now to hear right now wow <laughs> okay um this is really really amazing you have not only the eight of cups which is talking about moving on from something and towards something else. You have the Fool, which talks of a new beginning, an Ace, which talks about, uh, an Ace of Cups, which is talking about a new beginning, and you got another Ace, this time of Pentacles. Whew. That's really powerful. New chapter, new beginning, new adventure energy, all coming through in just a few cards, okay? So for some of you, yes, it could be something with work, career, finance, uh, something with the home, something with the physical. For I mean, obviously, I said a bunch of different things because there's a lot of energies coming through here, and pentacles can mean any of those things. So whichever it means for you, this is coming through loud and clear and, and 
really, really strongly. And on the bottom of the deck, we also have another card to support that, the Page of Pentacles. With the Page of Pentacles, I usually think of something like the potential for something like this to come through. But obviously, for you guys, this is not just potential. This is real and big energies, okay? Um, I'm getting a teeny tiny message here that there is child on way. Okay, why did I not use... <laughs> Sorry, I did not use articles. Like, I didn't say the child is on the way. I just said child is on way. That was really weird that I said that. Um, but I said it. Maybe it means something uh, to some of you. But anyway, the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. So, uh, again, this is not for everyone. But I, I am, and with this on the bottom, all of these, uh, Ace, Empress, Page. So, for a small amount of you, there could be some energy of either a birth some type of a energy having to do with a child or if that does not resonate it even could be the birth of something new in terms of an idea uh, with that I tend to think of people who are starting their own businesses because it is like their their baby their creative baby uh, some of you it could be um, a creative baby with like art writing or something like that but yes I did kind of feel something um, you know <laughs> like I saw an image of the empress like actually having a child which was cool uh, so lots of stuff is coming through here. So many new beginnings coming through here. So in terms of what you needed to hear, I feel like many of you kind of already knew this. I feel like you already uh, were geared and ready to go. You were receptive to any of these messages because your intuition was already aligning with this. So let's see if we can get any advice. Spirit, is there any advice that we need to know? Can we have the Ace of Pentacles or anything else that we need to hear for group number three? <clears throat> Okay, so for those of you that were dealing with something maybe with either finances or career or something a bit more in the practical realm, uh, there is going to be justice uh, for you here. And uh, it could have had to do with something that was incredibly unfair to you and that caused some pain. So with this justice, not only with just one card of justice, because I, I wouldn't want to misinterpret the justice card, but it's all of the cards that I feel is supporting this message here and and also the fact that you know the obvious scales and the sword here of truth and clarity um yes there will be justice in your life in your situation here so whether that means it again it was something with work or finances or even literally you know the justice card is the legal problems or whatever I do feel like there will be justice here. Can you tell us something more about the Ace of Pentacles then and the Justice card? What do we need to know? Uh, for others of you, it could just mean that something is balancing in your situation in a way that's very fair to you and to everyone, I'm assuming. Uh, justice and Ace of Pentacles, Spirit, please, for our group three. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> this is amazing. You got the Ten of Pentacles. This is... This is really wild, okay? So um, for the smaller number of you that may be dealing with anything legal, uh, wow, look at this. Clearly, you get what you desired, all right? But again, I did kind of note that they came in a little bit tilted, so be careful. For some of you, be careful, uh, because the, one of the messages that you were meant to receive is that you have to be open and centered or kind of relaxed about this energy. Because this energy needs some space. It's a big energy, right? This is prosperity, wish fulfillment. Uh, th so there could be something with family involvement as well. <clears throat> okay? So they want you to be relatively calm and accepting and open to this energy. The opposite of that is if you are constantly worrying or overthinking uh, or just anxious about this whole entire thing, if there's a lot of fear, yes, that could work against you and push this energy away so just be cautious or mindful all right but yeah yeah here's the hermit just um yeah just maybe look inward a bit and just do your thing focus on you focus on your lantern okay the page is here again page of pentacles can we have more information spirit about the eight of cups and the fool please for group number three what what do they need to hear most right now well, it's showing us that you're moving away towards something that was a repeating, recurring battle for you, something that was leaving you really 
frustrated. I, I'm not really seeing even exhaustion, although you could be because this card can mean stuff like that, like battles over and over. But I do feel like that your situation or the energy was really frustrating. Again, it wasn't serving you. So over here we have the four of wands instead of the nine things. Again, you can see the balance here in this card and the sense of celebration. What else do they need to know, Spirit? Is there anything hidden that they need to hear for group three for their uh, situation here? Anything hidden that they need to hear, please. Okay. The five of cups. Curious. Let's get something here. What is the message then about the five of cups, please? What is the message? I'm getting something having to do with releasing, but we already established that. So what's the message with the five of cups, please? You have the nine of swords, which I was speaking about before with worry. And then you also have the ace of wands. Hmm. Oh, I see. So, oh. This is a message for some of you that are uh, maybe just thinking about the new beginning, but not necessarily ready to do it yet. This is for you guys, okay? So basically they're saying that, okay, this is not really a hidden energy because you're probably aware of your feelings for the most part. However, there is a hidden layer to this in a sense that you could be dealing with something in the subconscious that at times can be paralyzing. So in that regard, yes, what we're talking about here is a blockage. And it may even be a blockage within the chakra that we're looking at right now, the solar plexus. So I did a visualization, like I, I do a lot of energy work just by visualization. So I invite you guys to try this if it resonates with you. I'll just explain briefly what it is. You just uh, you just sit and meditate, breathe for a second for a few minutes, and then you picture the solar plexus. Um, if you want, you can look up images. But uh, it, like basically, if there's something that is preventing you, if there's a blockage such as, I don't know, like um, sometimes I see visions of like... Uh, a dark goo kind of a thing weighing it down meaning that this chakra needs to be cleansed you can imagine that you have like a, a, a hose or like any kind of water element that is washing away all of the grime all of the dirt and grime or heaviness or stickiness of the chakra so that it can shine bright and it is yellow so you can picture maybe a gem that's bright yellow or whatever you like like maybe something that looks like a mini sun something like that so the point of this is to brighten that chakra to remove this energetic or subconscious uh heaviness that is there because some of you may not have realized that it that it was there if it is it will affect your ability, your, your power or your willpower to do this. Okay, so again, that's not for all of you. But if you are struggling with that sort of inner paralysis, which by the way, may show itself as things such as procrastination, any kind of hesitation or this strange, unexplainable resistance or avoidance to do a task. Okay, that's just so that you're aware because like, it doesn't tell us what it is. It doesn't reveal itself. Okay, so that was a hidden message for some of you. Now, we have also the Ace of Wands, okay? So the passion is obviously here. This is the third, oh my gosh, that's so crazy to me. This is the third Ace that you guys are getting. So you are ready for this. Your soul is ready. Your spirit team is like kind of just pulling you along. They're so ready to help you out with this. So it is, it is time. Or for some of you, if you're still working out a few of the you know, some of the stuff in your life, you're still working out some things. Uh, it will be time for this very, very soon. So Spirit, can we please have any final message for group three? What do they need to hear most right now, please? And thank you. <clears throat> oh, wow. You have the three of cups and the wheel of fortune. So you can see a sneak preview of how this is going to end up for you. The three of cups you're celebrating, you're joyous, you're with other people, the wheel of fortune, this is a card of destiny, the wheels are turning here to move you along in the in the path, uh, into the direction of your authentic, genuine path, your soul's 
destined path. This is really exciting. I'm really excited for you. I feel, I feel the excitement that you will be feeling once you not even get to a destination. This has nothing to do with a destination, although some of you might like to focus on that. But this actually has to do with today, with the, with the present step that you're going to take just in that, that general direction towards the future. But the moment that you take that step, you're going to feel this sense of elation and joy. You're going to feel it right away. So if anything, that could be that sort of eternal fire, that fuel that will lead you the rest of the way. Please, of course, as always, as I always say, um, work with your angels and guides, work with your spirit team, because there's many, there's many guides that are surrounding you at all times to help you through this. I feel like for you guys, I, I don't know why I'm kind of feeling this, but I think that you get signs and messages and synchronicities a lot, but some of you kind of like... <sighs> Maybe some of you don't really realize that that's what it is at the time. And some of you may even be confused by these messages. So what I invite you to do is to, to note them, to just become a little bit more aware of what's going on. So if anything strange happens, if you see any kind of weird things, such as repeating numbers or repeating names or little synchronicities where you saw something in a spiritual message and then you see it outside again and you're like, wait, that's really weird, um, or anything at all. I feel that that was the final message. Spirit wants you to open this up because that is your spirit team speaking loud and clear to you and now they want you to just know that, okay? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is a lot, a lot going on. So group three, that is what I have for you. I really hope that this was helpful. I hope that it resonated. If it didn't resonate at all, um, this may not be the group for you, but I hope that it did. Uh, and remember, it's a general reading. So a uh, personal reading link is always in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sending you so much love and best of luck with everything. Okay, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is a reading for those of you that chose group number four, which is the green uh, tuning fork for the heart chakra. Spirit, this reading is for group four, please, and the energies for them, especially what they need to hear right now most relevant to their path or their situation. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group number four. Thank you. Okay, so group four. Let's get either the first message of what you need to hear or your present energy um either one could come out so let's just do that spirit for group number four please can you give us the first message or what is their present energy for group four our heart chakra green group oh this is nice <laughs> this these two cards came out and immediately it felt like a hug you have here the seven of pentacles and the ten of cups what I'm getting from this is that either you are waiting for some beautiful happiness in your life or you could actively be planting some of the positive seeds to get to this point. For some of you, I suppose that mm, maybe 
there is a little bit of a hidden message here that some of you are kind of anxious about the fact that this may not come through it, it will be different for, for everyone of course but I think that the sort of the overarching message for most of you is that you will have this and I am also getting that there's a high likelihood that this even could come through this year uh, this obviously will depend on when you are watching but I am getting that feeling because of the 10 because of the the fact that 10 can mean completion okay little bit of hesitation here and here we also have the scale so with these the two of pentacles and six of pentacles I do feel from some of you uh, the rocking back and forth energy we'll see if that does come up again um, Spirit, can you please give us, uh, for group number four, what do they need to hear most right now? <clears throat> what do they need to hear most right now? So yes, as I felt, as I sensed, there is a, a, a wee bit of this energy going on. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. But uh, for, the, for the most part, look at this. Look at the energy here. This is motivation, focus. Oh my God, what the heck was that sound? That scared the crap out of me. Um, I think my other forks, <laughs> they kind of fell a little bit. They're kind of stacked on top of each other. And right when I was showing you these two cards is when I heard that tiny little, it was like a bell sound, like this, um, it, it, like a ring of a bell, a, a tiny, I, I can't even, like a ting. You heard it? Um, I don't know if you did, but uh, these two cards here is talking about moving forth. Now, for some of you, you may be waiting for a signal. You may be waiting for a sign. But I think that the rest of you may actually feel quite ready to do this. Uh, this is a burst of energy. But I am, again, seeing that it, it's not quite aligned yet, simply because this card is still here. So the first message for you guys is that this will happen. It's just the fact that it's going to take a little bit more time to align but it will so we have here the hermit card as well the hermit card has to do with your wisdom your sense of clarity and i am also feeling some sort of like a humble energy too i'm not really sure what it can mean for you guys it, it's um it it's almost like a patient meek kind of energy where I don't know, maybe you went through some sort of a spiritual transformation where you went through like in the recent past some sort of a dark night of the soul and this here is representing humility in a sense of being connected to divine. That's probably what it is. I don't know if some of you had dealt in, dealt with in the past some issues with, for example, it could have been something with pride or blockage or stubbornness. I, I'm not too sure because it's a little quiet here. But whatever the case is with this Hermit card, it is a tranquil energy, so peaceful and lightening. And it's in, it's just incredibly soothing. Uh, I'm getting an image of a person that's just by themselves, kind of in a a dark cave type of a situation and they're they've lit a little fire and it's like that crackling fire and the the shadows or the the light is splashing on the walls creating it, it's very creative i feel like that's happened before with a lot of my group four readings for whatever reason i feel like i get uh these poetic creative images more than the other groups for some reason um so the energy is here so let's get a little bit more about this and why it is not quite aligned yet it may have to do with this this could have to do with your own sense of either fear hesitation self-doubt or whatever but for some of you it could just simply be environmental or situational maybe you're dealing with some kind of a, a situation right now that is very limiting or maybe oppressive there could be something tying you down, right? Or someone that may contribute to that. Can you please tell us more, Spirit? What do they need to hear? Please, our group number four, what do they what do they need to hear? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You have this here again. 
the two of pentacles, which was talking, well, actually, I didn't shuffle all the way through, but I am noticing it again, uh, sort of the up and down. But this time, there's, wow, <laughs> I can't say any other words. Um, I'm just really kind of shocked. Check it out. You have the eight of cups and the temperance card. I see you walking away from something. Actually, for some of you, it might, it might even be walking towards something. I'm seeing you walk specifically towards either peace or I am hearing reconciliation or reunion for some of you, yes. Uh, but if that doesn't resonate, this is just pure peace here. This is healing. You're moving towards the direction of healing or something that ultimately will heal your soul. This is really going deep. This, this is not just the environment at this point. You're healing your soul by taking this step. Okay, so that makes me want to say then... That yes, this was divine. The fact that you're not seeing the fruits of your labor just yet, the fact that it's not aligned, this is divine timing. So not much any of us can do about divine timing. And I won't say the word that everybody hates, <laughs> right? But I will say a different word, which is to be present, right? To not worry too much about the future or place the mind within the future but just to be peaceful and present right here and to you know to have that uh sort of chill about things so let's get a little bit more here can you tell us spirit where are they going where are they going here there's there's three cards that have to do with moving on or movement but i'm still a little confused because here it seems like you're moving towards um a particular goal or direction with that uh with that obvious enthusiasm but here it's okay i see this is the earthly goal and this is the spiritual one where your soul is just ready to make that transition. So I did mention before that you may have had a spiritual transformation in the recent past, right? So that I'm getting the butterfly thing. You guys are coming out of the cocoon. You were resting. You were, I don't know, like whatever, like hibernating uh, in, in a soul level. And you're going to be good and ready to pop out of that cocoon or come out of the cave or whatever you were doing. You're going to be able to come out of this. And it's a little unclear if this happens first or this happens first. I feel that it will be different for everyone. But whatever happens first here, it's going to feel so rewarding. It took me a minute to get that word. It's going to, it's going to feel so relieving and rewarding to finally be able to break through either the blockage or a barrier or whatever it was. For some of you, it's going to even feel like um, you're waking up. I was getting image of the death card and the four of swords, which I do feel is kind of like waking up from something. The eyes becoming clear. Wow, this is really just, this is really amazing energy. It's uh it's very transformative, as I as I said, really overwhelming me <laughs> in a good way. I, I feel like uh, if this is a shared collective energy lately, and it's and it's wonderful to see this in everyone, uh, including myself. I'm not, you know, putting myself above anyone. Um, that's why I was away for so freaking long. Um, okay, uh, Spirit, can you please give us more for group number four? What do they need to hear, please? Mm, okay, so the Five of Cups. I think that all the groups got this card, interestingly. So the Five of Cups, uh, it seems a bit self-explanatory when you consider the energy that you were in before. So let's see. Uh, Spirit, is there anything in particular that you want to tell us about the Five of Cups? Oh, yes. Right when I placed it down where it needed to go, it spoke. Uh, it's telling me that some of you may be very fearful that you will continue to lose things, that you will continue to lose opportunities or lose this success or lose this sort of balance and spiritual transformation or whatever. Um, I am noticing this on the bottom of the deck, the lover's card. Um, I mean, it could be something with like a deeper sense of soul, love of self or connection, or of course it could have to do with someone else that you're dealing with. Uh, whether it's a friend or a romantic interest or a family member, whatever. I just feel that this Five of Cups is kind of speaking as your heart center in the spread itself. 
right? It is acting a little bit as a center card, even though we're, we're missing the future cards here, which I'll get. But some of you may be still operating with a lot of fear of loss. Okay, so let's get the message for that one. Spirit, can you give us the message for the Five of Cups? What do they need to hear? Group number four. The Five of Swords. Hmm. This may be you fighting yourself at this point. I think that you guys overcame everything so far um i'm getting that phrase you know where people say i've been to hell and back that phrase is what i got and i rarely use any like of those words uh that's not exactly a curse but don't mind me uh so i feel like you guys have been through everything so far and at this point if there is something of an obstacle that is still showing up in your energy at this point, it's you fighting yourself, right? So the question is, hmm, there's, there may be even two questions here. The first question is, are you ready for this happiness and for this success and for the healing and everything that comes with it, such as peace and love and everything, right? That's the first question. Now, the second question is a tougher one to answer, I feel. It is, are you ready to give up what you're used to or comfortable with, which could have been fear and sadness, all right? Basically, whatever was um, making you ill or whatever was making you in that dark state or lower vibration, negative energy, whatever, whatever resonates for you. That is what spirit is asking. Are you ready to let that go? Most people would say something like, well, of course I'm ready to let that go. It's hurting me. But that's really not the case for most people. If you're a person that is self-aware, and I feel like you are with the hermit, you are well aware by now that sometimes that could be the tendency to seek out or to sort of hang out with the with these lower vibrations for whatever reason. It Again, it could just be because we're used to it. It could be because it has a sense of comfort or false sense of security, right? That's a lot of people. That's actually most of us. Um, so that is the second question. And Spirit is asking you, group four, to do a bit more hermit work, to spend more time with you and your lantern and your humility and your connection to divine. They need you to spend a little bit more time with that. That's probably what is planting these positive seeds towards your ultimate happiness, right? Right? Which I don't, again, I don't think you have to really even wait for this. I feel that you're uh, similar to what I said, I think, in the previous group. You're going to feel it right away. The moment that you give up something, probably within yourself, yes. Some of you, it could even be an added thing within the environment, uh, within your external world, that you have to also give up. But the second that you do that, you will be achieving this energy. Remember I said it was going to feel rewarding and relieving and look at what we have here at the bottom of the deck okay so this is passion this is achievement fulfillment prosperity confidence freedom it's um you feeling very self-sufficient you feeling like you can finally do anything like you can finally be that person that does everything that they set their mind to all right um Let's get one more for you guys. Can we have any final messages, please, for group number four, the heart chakra group spirit? What do they need to hear most? What, what is the final thing that they need to hear, please? Wow. We have the ten of pentacles, the queen of swords, and the death card at the bottom. Now, for group two, I, I said to them that they got the same first and last cards as group number one as their first draw but for you guys i think that you had a similar uh 
specific message to the previous group, to group number three. So what that could mean is that either there's shared messages within that reading, or if you know anybody that would choose the group number three, you guys might have some sort of um, connection or conversation to have even. But if not, that's fine. But here with this Ten of Pentacles, very similar to the Ten of Cups. Remember I said it talks about completion and sort of like that ending thing? <clears throat> or the outcome thing. So this is the outcome. This is prosperity. This is success. Uh, it's stability, security, and just feeling safe. I love that word for you guys. Feeling safe. Yes. And here, as an added bonus, we have the Queen of Swords, which is about feeling clear-minded, seeing clearly, thinking clearly, um, and I guess the freedom. You know, like going along with the butterfly thing. Like I feel there's a sense of freedom here because you can see clearly and think clearly. Everything just feels whew, lighter, okay? Um, and just for me, for uh, not spirit, but I'll get one more final message. Spirit, can we have one final message, please, from, from me to them? Ah, you have the four of pentacles. Ah, okay. So you have, uh, as the final message, you have the four of pentacles and... The Fool card. This was definitely a common card in all of the readings as well. So with the Four of Pentacles, remember, I did mention from the very beginning that there could be, from some of you, just the, the feeling of either fear, hesitation, blockage, or paralysis even. Okay, so be careful with this one. Uh, remember to ask yourself the two questions, and you can even write it down. Take some time to journal write if, if you like doing that. It usually does help a lot. But ask yourself those introspective questions. Are you ready for that happiness? And are you ready to let go of the either sadness or anything negative that was holding you back? Because what I actually see here is you're holding very tightly onto something. Um, some of you, it may not be that negative energy, but you're holding very tightly onto something. So what Spirit wants from you is to release this energy and to embody the energy of the fool. Okay, He's really not holding onto anything except... Uh, something positive which is the white rose this is the new beginning card innocence purity trust taking a leap of faith okay so this is what uh is the final message of advice for you guys Alrighty. very powerful reading very emotional reading okay so group four that's what i have for you uh, I do hope that this was helpful and that it resonated. And if it didn't resonate at all, it may not be the right group for you. Um, but remember, it's a general reading. If you'd like info for personal readings, it's always in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I wish you the very best and I'm sending you so much love and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.